Hi, I'm Daniel Murphy. Let's take a look at this big elm tree that died from Dutch elm disease. You can see all the branches over the yard area have been cut off. We just bombed all of them and everything that's left is out leaning over the house. So the tree has quite a bit of side weight. All those branches, they're pretty big branches, very heavy and they're leaning very strongly out directly over the house. Now, elm is extremely strong hinging wood. This hinges on these trees can be trusted. However, with that much weight leaning out over the house, you can't completely trust just a hinge on a tree like this to hold. So we were in a good position to back this thing up with a retainer line, a right angle retainer line, tied off to the bucket truck, which weighs about 30,000 pounds. So we're gonna have a good bit of weight there to counterbalance all that heavy lean out towards the house. That in conjunction with a good notch and back cut to create a nice strong hinge. The fact that it's elm is a good strong hinging wood. And a pull line which we have a two to one mechanical advantage tied to a skid loader. Inside that graphic you can see that's a sling that's got a block on it that's tied to what's left of the top of the tree. We should be fine here. Let's take a look. And you can see this is the yard area where all the, all the other brush was dropped. We have a two to one pull line on there set up with two separate ground anchors and there's our redirect pulley and with it, that line is going to get pulled with the skid steer loader. I set up a right angle retainer line. There it is right there. It's hooked up to the side branch. Not the best branch because it was going to be torquing that branch to the side. Nevertheless, it was important that it be set up there because we didn't want to take the fence out when the tree came over. It was a good notch. And here I'm making the cut. This is, uh, again, you can see from this, from this angle, you can see all that weight leaning left right out towards the house. You have to take the tree down to the right into the yard there. And sure enough, doing a good notch and back cut and the hinge and the retainer line and the pole line all working in conjunction. It worked out beautifully. Am. Okay, watching this in slow motion, that squeak you hear is the squeak of the pulley that's being used on the two to one. In particular, though, pay attention to the popping sounds as the hinge begins to go. You can actually listen to that and listen to see how long the hinge held. Now, look at that top line there. That is the retainer line, the highest line there going off to the right of the screen. That's holding all the way to the ground, meaning the retainer line held longer than the hinge. And also notice why we had to tie it to that particular limb so it cleared the fence. Now here's a look at the notch and the hinge involved. The notch is very deep. That gives the follower some advantages. It throws the center of gravity forward relative to the hinge. Also, the most obvious thing here is that the notch was the, the hinge was tapered so that there's many more fibers on the near side of the hinge, which is the tension side, the side away from the lean giving the, those fibers more strength to fight that side lean. Also notice the stump shot, the, the height of the back cut, it was, it was staggered. So it was maybe one or two inches on the far side of the hinge, but on this near side, it was probably three or four inches. That's particularly, I use that only on wood like elm, which hinges very well. I think giving more length to those fibers on elm gives the hinge more strength. This shot at the bottom of the log shows you clearly how the height of the back cut was angled. And a look at the yard here shows we had some brush left over and a few logs and we set them up to act as a buffer for the lawn so it didn't get all beat up. This shot shows how well those padding logs caught the logs as it hit. I got actually a little lucky on that because I really didn't think about it too hard when I set them up. The other thing to point out here is why we had to take the top of the tree out was to get clearance. These are all those big side branches here. We needed clearance to make sure the top of the tree didn't hit those spruces. 